Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kylie. Hi, and it's Aiden. And um, this video is basically um, going to be to a couple specific GSAs out there, as well as a very special talk show host. Yay! So, Shout out to the GSAs. <laughs> right? Um, so the first one is Great Bay E-Learning Charter School. And excuse me if I shop this up, but Exeter, New Hampshire. I'm, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, but Jessica, I don't know if she's your leader or not, but she wrote me, um, just telling me your story and stuff, and, um, telling me that you guys need, like, 160 bucks to be able to go to that dinner around Thanksgiving, and so I did look up some fundraising ideas that I hope can help, um, I'll read those at the end of the video. You guys are freaking amazing, and we love you. We do love you. Um... La Lathrop and Hutchins High School in Fairbanks, Alaska. I hope I said that right as well. <laughs> um, Hannah wrote me on my Tumblr <laughs> and told me um, about his group and how you guys had a meeting and just watched our videos. And mm -hmm. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. And I heard you really enjoyed them. So that's freaking awesome. Yeah. So we definitely wanted to give you guys a shout out and to keep up the great work. I hear it's pretty tough out there um, as far as being accepted. But it sounds like Hannah is doing a great job as far as um, getting you guys involved in trying to make it more of an accepting thing out there. So good job. Keep Good it job. Up. Play with the mooses for <laughs> us. The mooses. Um, then Vivid, Owens Community College in Perrysburg, Ohio. Um, Amanda, actually two Amandas wrote me. Um, Amanda, who is, I am assuming, a member of the group, and then the president um, of the group. So I hear you guys are also having a gay prom. Which, we're jealous because we so yeah. wish we could go because that would be freaking sweet. We've never been to a game Neither prom. of us have, so yeah, yeah. We really would like to go to one, but that's cool that you guys get to do that. So you guys need to yeah. rock out, dress up, and take pictures for us, okay? Yeah, Send take them, pictures. Because we really want to see them. Um, and you also kind of need some help as far as getting more people, I guess, uh, involved in your group and having more people, I guess, attend meetings and stuff like that. So we're also going to put a little list or something, talk about how you can get others involved and put up some links. Um, lastly, is not a GSA, but it is a member of the community. His name is Gary, and he has a radio a radio show called um, Wine, Dine, and Fuck .com. Basically, he put us on his, his show, episode 6, I believe, it's towards the end, but he gave us a very good shout-out. Like, it was awesome i was very yeah. flattered and he's an amazing kid and he stands up for the community and i mean he's he's a really cool guy so check him out listen to his radio show like really give him that support because he deserves it he you know fights alongside with us and you know we all got to keep each other strong we can't do this separate this is team effort here so everybody keep going with that and show him your support all right and we have come up with a contest that we would like to do, and it is for GSAs. If you guys would like to come up with a logo for the Pride Project, and we'll put it on our online store, and we'll choose a couple of them that we like as our own favorites, and we will get a poster, write you a note, sign it, whatever, send it to you, and we'll even do our own painting or drawing. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it special. Like, we want, like, anybody who does it, you're definitely going to be on the store, yeah. and you might even get a poster. You know, we want uh, all of your efforts will be rewarded. There's not going to be anybody left hanging. You know, the ones that we think, you know, truly went out of their way to make it unique and to make it different, we are either going to paint your logo or we'll just paint you a random picture or drawing <laughs> or something, but we'll give you something personalized by us as well, you know, or, you know, if you want another item from the store, I don't know, we'll hook yeah. you up. We'll, we'll figure something we'll out. We'll make it worth <laughs> your while, we swear. <laughs> we just really want to get everyone involved with this. We want yeah. the Pride Project to get involved with GSAs. That's the whole point of the Pride Project. Yeah. And we just want, yeah, to get everyone involved 
And, yeah, and if you guys make videos, I mean, either send them to us or yeah. something, and, I mean, we'll post them up. Like, you know, the Pride Project isn't just our faces. The Pride Project no. is your faces. Right now, we are the ones trying to get it out there, but it's all of you that are going to keep it going, and it's all of you that are going to keep it strong. And our deadline is going to be, what did we decide, December, December 10th. 10th? Yes, yeah. December 10th. So you got a little while. Yeah, so just write us and let us know if you're interested. So now we're going to mm -hmm. read a couple things for that, and this is for any GSA out there who wants to use these ideas. There are going to be like fundraising ideas, as well as how to keep members motivated and how to keep your you know team growing and staying strong. First, we're going to do fundraising ideas. One that I found that was kind of cool was basically it's like spring yard work, um going to your neighbors and saying, you know, hey, I'll clean up your leaves, or hey, you know, can I mow your lawn, and just getting that kind of money, or, you know, I'll walk your dog, you know, anything like that, anything that you can maybe help your neighbors with, and just charge them, you know, five, ten bucks, you know, whatever, any little bit is going to help, and, you know, that'll rack up really fast. There's another one that uh, was administrative fund. I don't know if your school would actually be open to do this. Um... But you have uh, money jars for students to place money in, and then you have, like, goals. Like, you know, like, if the kids put in, like, $100, then your principal or, you know, you can have someone, like, they have to, like, come to school in a funny outfit. Or, you know, they have to do, like, you <laughs> that know. That would like, be really good. Like, they have goals, and, they, you know, you have to make it fun and silly. But, you know, if you could get any, even any school official or just anyone yeah. um, to be would, a part of that. Yeah, that would get a lot of people involved, too. And... Yeah, quick way to raise money like yeah exactly have like low goals like 25 and you can go up um you know to like 500 dollars as far as a goal and make that like yeah. a really outrageous thing that maybe you know someone does just for fun though you know it's it's all in fun That'd and you know just helping you guys raise money and even just going to businesses and trying to see if they'll sponsor you i mean yeah. that's always worth a shot i know it's a small town but it doesn't ever hurt to ask oh also another one was to sell art, and um, I didn't. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. But uh, <laughs> if you guys end up wanting to do that, Aiden, and I'm assuming he will be a part of it, but I know I will, you know, draw or I'll paint just, like, oh, yeah. quick paintings to get, we'll mail them to you guys, and you guys can sell them. Um, and you guys can, like, keep the money. So, you know, we'll, we'll help you guys sell, we'll, we'll give yeah. you some art to sell. And you guys can try and make money that way. So if that works out, let anything, me know. Yeah, anything we can do to help, let us know. Yeah. And we'll be quick to do that. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? I guess uh, getting more people to maybe participate in group events or just getting more people in your groups. Basically keeping them involved. Yeah, just... Yeah, keep them involved, communicate, get everyone's opinion on things and ideas for, like, activities or uh, things to do as a whole, as a group, and to get involved with your, your community around. Just um, Make it a group effort. Yeah, like, it can't be just one person making those decisions. It has exactly. to be everybody's insight because then that way everybody's a part of it. And it's something that they can all look at and be proud of as opposed to someone making those decisions and being proud of someone else's decision. You know? Yeah. And set goals. Yeah. That would be really good. Um, like setting goals to show your community that you're here and that you want to get involved and... Fundraising goals as well. Yeah. You know, have a set amount of money and be like, you know, we're going to all work together to do this and have, ha give everybody like a designated job, you know, like create yeah. create jobs for people to have because, again, it's more of that incentive to be a part of it versus just, you know, kind of sitting and being there. That's good. Make sure that you do recognize when people do um, help out. Don't, you know, if you see someone doing a good job, just, you know, tell, let them know. You know, just be like, you know, I'm proud of you for doing that. Or give yeah. them that pat on the back. Don't just kind of think it in your head and not say anything. Like, give those people that incentive because when people feel like they're doing a good job, it'll make them want to work more. I don't know. And you guys, there's another thing that you guys could have random outings. Um, like, just... Yeah. plan trips to the park or something or you Bowling. guys can go all go out to eat lunch or you know yeah simple things 
me and Aiden go and climb trees all the time, you know, go find, go find <laughs> some trees to go and climb and like, you know, <laughs> you guys pitch in for a disposable camera and take pictures and like post them on your walls, you know, why don't you create like an adventure wall so you guys post pictures up all the time That's about good. where you guys go and just yeah, I just, I just thought of that, so that worked <laughs> out. But, no, just something like that would be really fun, and it would keep everybody involved, and you guys can create memories and just yeah. keep that positive energy going because that's what it's about. But, but. <laughs> that was just really good. I don't know. You just came out of nowhere. Oh. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, no, it's just it's little things like that that really, I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. I mean, spending that time with those with your friends and, and your, your the members of that community is really what's going to make you guys stronger as a whole and be able to fight against the bullies and, you know, stand up for each other and be there for each other. So but anything we can do, like if you want to do that art thing, let us know. Yeah. Because um, we will be more than happy to draw and paint up some pictures for you guys and mail them for you guys to sell. Um, Send us some logos. Yeah, do the logos because everybody will get something um, from us. So... Hopefully, you know, or whatever you guys want, you know, we'll hopefully kind of hook you up. Yeah, we'll figure something so, out. Yeah, and... We just want, we yeah, we just want people to get involved. We want everybody to be part of it. We can't just do it ourselves, and, you know, like I said, the Pride Project logo is, is your faces, not ours. So, let's see what your idea of the Pride Project logo is. We love all of you guys. You know, you're amazing, and stay strong. You know, keep loving each other, and if... You keep writing us, we'll keep writing you back, and we're going to keep the family strong, because you're our family, and we love you. Love you. Anywho, bye, guys. Bye.